Yeah, this is a uh, big, big opportunity here. This game one, these game ones for uh, Keith and Tiger have been absolutely crucial at setting the pace and the tempo of the match. And uh, hopefully here, already starting off with a big open up on Tiger. That's the aggression you're looking to see here from the red team, looking to just stifle the momentum. You're looking down six games of momentum on the blue team, but it doesn't matter as the blue team now getting blendered with that team combo, still continuing the pressure. Keith sent off stage the edge guard on favor of Tiger. Now Tiger is in a bad spot. Keith able to get back on the stage with the axe and disrupt what has been all the red team so far. Um, it absolutely has. Um, blue team needs to take a big breath right now. Count to three. You don't have time for ten. But count to three and you need to fix this right now. This is not a wait till game two problem. This is a right now while you still have some stocks to work with is a tiger holding down the side of the stage, doing those anti-airs up uh, in the sky, looking for anything. Of, oh, he tried to catch, it looked like it was gonna nair coming out, but he did go ahead and break that up. Charging that down sig, and um, it did catch. I'm um, gonna take Sire all the way up to the top, not confirming though, but Vortex is gonna get confirmed as we see Sire being taken up that bottom, uh, that bottom right corner right now. Yeah, uh, even stocks here, but the blue team, of course, worse for wear and damage department. Able to get that big SIG on Aang and not quite enough to KO Tiger as Keith is just the biggest monkey wrench possible. I mean, any opportunity you send Tiger off stage, Keith is right there ready to support. And you see Vortex there even pulling away, not fully committing to that juggle because Keith is in the area to disrupt it. You have to be so careful when that Lance is online, so bursty oh. and so good at disrupting. But a great open up from Vortex, unable to be disrupted by Tiger. The downlight there can be, the, the same can be said about that downlight there as that is two quick stocks for the red team. No, no, great, great read off that uh, gravity kick side light, the Vortex. Switching over uh, to Spear. You can see what Vortex can get done with that. Sire being taken off the stage. He's down his last stock. And um, I will say, uh, Blue Team seems to have heeded up my advice, and they have done a great job um, bringing back that momentum and uh, bringing the game at number one back into these final stocks and have a good chance of uh, maybe still taking game number one even after that opening from a Red Team. Yeah, I mean, you know, you, as you said, it's not a later problem, it's a now problem. And now the problem's on the red team, as blue team looks to make this big comeback. That side air is going to be big, sending Onyx off stage, able to make it back. No crazy edge guard sequences for the blue team quite yet. I mean, they're still playing pretty controlled here, as uh, Keith has been holding down this center stage absolutely flawlessly, just cannot be stopped. No, absolutely true. Is uh, he gets kind of uh, taken off stage there, a bit right back. Gonna say, he, he he was helping Tiger out. He was taking him out of danger. Way is what it was. Um, as he's reaching back up, trying to get this weapon. Does have active hand. Gonna set a uh, set a fadeaway sare on the vortex. Then gonna hit Sire with one, taking Sire out of this game. And blue team, everybody in knockout range, but vortex catching that right there. Is he going to be able to get back on stage? He avoids everything so far, but no, that is going to get it done. D-Light, Sire, bye-bye. Try again in a game at number two is Vortex and Sire got to figure out what they can do and what happened, how they let that one slip away. Yeah, I think Keith uh, doing more of key things, finding big reversals. You see there, the chase dodge down was the correct read. Tries to extend with a recovery. Keith immediately snapping, saying, nope, yeah. you're not going to go for that around me. I'm going to hit you with a side air, and you're going to lose your stock here. Too high damage. You cannot, you have to keep the pressure airtight when Keith is on the screen. No matter on the Lance or the Axe, those side airs are going to be so good at whip punishing. So much range or so much momentum on Lance and Axe, where it's just like, is it even worth going for those extended reads? Because if Keith is on the screen, comfortable and ready to swing you will get reversal and Keith yeah. does exactly that the damage actually in the favor of the red team that game but it didn't matter because Keith was able to close out those Three, stocks a lot two, earlier in damage one. no that was a really good performance from blue team we're gonna see what's gonna happen here in game number two I'm pretty sure red team can have a little something to say about it as we uh, kind of break up here to neutral is Keith immediately taking Sire off stage looking for some extra good find work. Yeah, I mean, we're used to seeing those side airs open up big combos for Cannon, but Keith showing that the land still has it. Big yes. up on Keith there with the downer. Doesn't quite find much more than that. Keith now disrupting Red Team with a big edge guard opportunity. Has Tiger in a really bad spot. Big side light on the side of Aang and just continuing to rack on this big damage. Nice side light. Sarah on Keith has to recover back. Yeah, a little bit of a split there, and that's a bad spot for the red team now. Blue team has some control again, but no weapon on Keith is big. No, no, not at all. 
I cannot believe how close these opening stocks are. Who are going to be the first to fall? Sire. We're going to some unarmed damage. There we go. Keith is going to be taken down to that bottom left corner. And, and now um, Tiger going to go ahead. I mean, Keith is going to knock out on Sire. Tiger's falling. Vortex is falling. And we're just going to keep things even going into stock number two. Yeah, we, dare we even say the word lead because it just doesn't matter in these games. No lead is safe when we're commentating because every time we say it, I mean, it just gets evaporated. They're so good at closing out those high damage stocks, even in 2v1 situations sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. Vortex, a little uh, friendly fire there. Trying to get back on stage, getting shut down with those gauntlets, reaching around, taking the long route. Vortex is going to catch Tiger, send him down to the bottom. He's trying to break up some of that off a of red team. The Tiger sweat beats out, no option, bye bye. That stock is gonna go and Tiger is on his final stock. But everybody else is either in knockout range, bye bye Sire, or very close to being knocked out. And they're seeing Vortex and Keith right now. Vortex with that big sig on able to get a KO on Keith because of the wall bounce. Now Vortex with a big open up on Tiger. The double gauntlets are out for the red team. So those edge guards are gonna be big. You see Tiger there disrupting Vortex's attempt at the ground pound with that side light. Very important moments to keep Keith in the game here. Tiger on the bow has been working out very well, but that sick comes through for Vortex and the same for Sire. And now the blue team on their last stock uh, with just Keith representing now a big 2v1 situation. But I think red team has this one up three stocks to one. It is winnable. I mean, it, it is a Keith. The way his movement has been, if he can stay out of those 2v1 setups and get some quick damage on Sire, get him out of here and be able just to focus on one player, but to rack up some good damage on him. Oh, no, that 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 right there, that might have been a little too much for Keith to be able to come back from. Big Sarah coming back up on stage. Big recovery, not enough to take him out off of that angle. Vortex going deep with the ground pound. And Sire going to be there to catch with a ground pound of his own off of that game. Yeah, now you're without a weapon as Keith. The side light into recovery does close it out. The red team with a very dominant game. Number two gets the three stock there. Taking five stocks uh, was Aang. So, I mean, the red team definitely making the adaptation needed to suppress this blue team. Absolutely. Absolutely. We saw it was blue team that kind of brought it back in the opening game. And then, you know, we had um, you know, the downtime. You know, coming in a new game, a little mental refresh, and a red team coming out looking fantastic in game number two, and has to have Keith and a Tiger just a little bit nervous. Yeah, that's big. I mean, stopping seven games of momentum, seven yeah. Three, games without two, losing straight one, for the blue team. Now the red team shaking it up, forcing the blue team to finally have to make that adaptation after a loss. And see how they perform here as we go back to Demon Island. They're obviously still very comfortable on their, uh, their legend selection. Seeing some more Algren and some more Koji. Picking it up there. Keith looking to catch that side light on Sire. Got punished for it. Taking Vortex back. Vortex coming up with a D light. Definitely be found. Daring and Keith up into the air. They got a, kind of a weird angle on it. Took Keith back down. I think Vortex kind of wanted him to uh, be taken up. Nice fadeaway coming off of the stage. Okay, he's looking good here in this opening game. Uh, this uh, game number three. Tiger getting recovered and going up to the top of stage. Keith going to recover his way back up on stage and uh, getting uh, one on uh, both members of Red Team. Yeah, Keith, disruption has been the name of the game. Uh, every opportunity you try to get those edge guards, it just takes Keith one moment on the lance to reverse of those situations. Big open ups, Tiger holding onto the stock, playing more off stage and saying, hey, come off stage with and try to close out this KO. I dare you. I absolutely dare you to come finish out the, come finish out this stock. Oh, an absolute unison. Red team taking off a couple stocks from blue team. That was uh, that was almost like they playing that. Yeah, uh, one cover. Really, really great stuff uh, from the red team to close out those stocks and uh, evaporate the lead. We are back to even stocks here as the cannon has been so dominant on the ground. The downlight gets interrupted by his own team's combo. Sidelight attempts from the spear to get something going, but gets caught. Actually, Tiger isolating an edge guard through all of that. Not enough to KO the Onyx, but still a lot. And Keith with the cider to close out that one gets a big open up there. Almost is able to catch the gravity castle with that side air is Tiger and I don't know what's going on off stage, but it's been working for the blue team. Uh, Vortex was just, when he had that uh, spear still at hand, just Sarah after Sarah after Sarah, trying to uh, find a knockout, couldn't fish it out. Sarah off of the Algrim spear, uh, 
Lance gonna take Vortex all the way out to the side. You see, switch over to Axe now. Ooh, trying to come in with that down signature. Could not find anything. Getting broken up. Big ground pound, but a huge stare coming up from Keith, clearing everything out. And now Sire is gonna be able to confirm that stock. And we are still all even going into these final stocks, uh, PJ. Tiger isolated in that 1v1 on the right side. Very scary stuff. Fortunately able to get out of it. Keep back on the land to disrupt. Big recovery reversal. Now the blue team looking to juggle red team. Red team back on the stage and looking to send someone off stage. But Keith has been holding on to the corner and just been doing so much. And now getting unarmed as the gravity cancel sick comes through. Not quite enough to KO for Keith. Another sig. Why not? That one's going to be enough. Man, a very, very close game. Oh, Sire catching him way up top of it. Not enough momentum, even at that high on Demon Island, to be able to get Keith out of here. And we're seeing kind of deja vu, just opposite teams here. Is Keith and a Tiger try to keep Sire at bay and take the momentum going into game number four. But Sire is doing everything he can to stop this flow. There we go. Catches him with the Sire. Tiger's going to have no options. Keith can't find the save. And it is this 1v1. Whoever gets the first bit of damage <gasps> is going to knock him out. But Keith unarmed and not gonna be a deal, unarmed delight, not gonna be able to find anything from it. Big recovery, unarmed. He now has that ax and we know he needs it. The Sire fighting back unarmed. PJ, I cannot take it, what's gonna happen? Sire gonna go ahead and confirm that game, that stock and the momentum going into game number four. What a close situation. Sire able to isolate. As I keep saying, the gauntlets in the 2v1. You can't let the gauntlets get your teammate off stage. You see here Keith actually f uh, forfeiting the center stage in an attempt to get their teammate back. And Keith getting caught with the weapon in hand. Uh, tries to go for a weapon toss. And yeah, a lot uh, better showing Oof. for the red team there. And Sire, 655 damage. Keith, 740. So you're seeing the two teams kind of, sh you know, showing their hand on who's really doing most wow. of the damage. And it's definitely... Um, going in the favor of the red team sire with a big clutch it cannot be understated how important that game is now forcing keith and tiger on their elimination game keith had almost 800 Three, damage that two, game one, that that is uh that's kind of crazy numbers to be perfectly honest and still not uh still not be able to get a dub out of it but here we go a game at number four sire and vortex one little game away from taking tiger and keith out of this practice as we get the uh, stage counter pick from the red, uh, the blue team, a little bit of a platform to help out, but doesn't help Tiger out too much as that is a very early stock uh, now. The Tiger has been getting the uh, all of the aggression pointed at them in these off stage situations. Keith uh -huh. now getting juggled Ooh. big and Sire going a little bit too high. Vortex comboing the um, or picking up with that recovery, then Keith comboing with their recovery of their own. So blue team still have a lot of fight in them. It's not over yet. Oh, no, not nice at all. Pickup. Nice cool. team combo from Blue Team. They got a little collateral um, knockout there. Still trying to confirm the one on Vortex, who was the one who uh, caught all of that damage out of that team combo. Sire, nice reversal off stage, going up with sweat. He's coming out, catching the Sire off the Tiger. Vortex going to go ahead and uh, poke his way in there and break that up a little bit and push it Keith over to the left side important to keep them away from each other because when they are together they are doing major damage if not KOing off of any open up so you have to you know be around your teammate and keep this blue team separated nice yes. catch from Keith there the Nair's gonna send up and Keith able to land deep with those stairs that's the double KO for Keith once again and now you are up a stock here but Tiger a little worse for wear as that you're in high red damage now but they've already got Sire on to that final stock Saw how much damage he put out last game, and trying to uh, neutralize that just a little bit here in game number four. Ooh, nice air, nice cleanup. And I like that pickup too, waiting for Keith to finish the uh -huh. animation of that neutralite and then immediately into a team combo. And that's going to be blue team on potentially their last stocks of this tournament. Vortex with a big open up with that poke there. Keith getting caught with the down light and continuing is Sire with that gauntlet recovery. Big damage on Keith so far. Tiger disrupting with that side air though. You're looking yeah, at Vortex it. with the extra stock here, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Vortex coming up top. Nice side light missing the signature. Keith getting punished. Oh, not pushing the edge guard. Edge guard gonna swap back over to Sire. Catches him with the recovery. Up to the sky, Keith is gonna come back down, confirm the stock off of Vortex, and now Sire and Vortex. Down to the last socks, Keith almost in knockout range, so is Sire. 
blue team has to do it right now to be able to take us into a game number five. That's going to be huge right there. Kicker from the stock. Sire able to touch, get back up on stage. Keith, though, an armed attack. Going to send Sire way up into the sky. Tiger going to catch him. Sire cannot get any footing anywhere, but they let their eyes off up for just a second. Oh, my goodness. Sire, poor guy, cannot get back up on stage. Tiger all over him, and he gets sent out again. How is this man still on the stock, but he is not anymore. It is all down to Vortex right now as a Tiger go ahead, goes ahead, hits him with the Sayer, and finally, PJ, we are being blessed with a game number five. Yeah, um, you know, we've been talking about Keepa, Tiger that game really stepping up. Uh, Tiger uh, losing the stock very early with that edge guard from the red team. Red team seeming to have some control, but the blue team came back in a major way uh, off the back of that open up as well. And we see here Tiger able to close that one out and get the side game air. Five. And much more damage that game for Tiger as they are kind of, you know, they're both pulling out all the stops now into this game five situation. Probably the closest we've seen these two teams yeah. play so far in the tournament. So we are down to game number five. Keith, Tiger, Koji, Ogram, Sire, Vortex, Aang, and Onyx looking to make this Demon Island. Let's see who move on. I mean, it's been so close so far. It has. I mean, no matter who ends up taking this game for five, it will be so well-deserved going to be going up top to take on Serenity and Tax Evasion. Um, and this is the fight for it right here. Um, the first four games really don't even matter at this point. It all comes down to this, this final battle on Demon Island. And these guys are showing uh, no signs of slowing down his momentum as we get straight to it here in Game 5. Demon Island, no soft platform to kind of find some safe harbor. Going to make it hard here to contend with these very grounded options. Big Sig there is going to eliminate Keith for the first time in a while. Keith losing the KO or losing the stock first. Yeah, I mean, we saw that in some past sets and he was able to, you know, go ahead and tank out the rest of his stocks. But they definitely got a hold of him up very early um, in this game and trying to put some early damage onto him. Um, a Vortex also um, at the threat of being taken out as we see Tiger as well. Um, and now confirmed on that first stock. And Red Team sitting here with a be it a very slight lead that they do have the lead. Yeah, you say that word and leads seem to evaporate. As I say that, the neutral light comes through. The edge guard continues. Sire able to hold on to that, though, and hold on to the very small lead that they do have here. Yes, I was trying to speak in, in, into um, existence. It seems to be working. Nice. Sayer from Keith going to follow up. Stock coming off of Sire. And now they need to put some damage on him quick and bring him back up to uh, equalize with everybody else. Sorry, catching Vortex there in a team combo. Tiger continuing that juggle, though, getting popped up by their own teammates, still gets the Nair. And a big Sig from Vortex. Now both of the blue team offstage, the weapon toss is going to catch Tiger. Tiger now on their last stock, potentially, of the tournament. Keith looking to disrupt and do some extra damage here and hopefully make it easier for Tiger to find some footing and find a weapon. The side stick comes through for Keith. A side light comes out for Tiger to force Sire offstage, but still holding on here. What a close game this is going to come down to the absolute last stock last hit i'm calling it right now vortex fighting back on arm has uh, that spear in his hand swiffing with the delight tiger ended up going underneath it catching him there catching him again setting up that 2v1 situation team combo getting a little damage there but not quite the finish i think they were looking for Sire, I mean, finishing that one with a big exclamation of that neutral sick. Keith getting caught in a bit of a vortex by vortex. That down light into recovery. Keith now with a big open up, catches the recovery. Now Sire with two stocks, but still in a 2v1 situation. Sire trying to take the time to close out that uh, stock on Tiger, but it's 2v1 now. Even stocks, but not even players on the screen for the teams. Sire fighting for their team here in a big way trying to land Keith swinging with the cider misses sire sending tiger far away not quite enough to ko though a big side light into recovery now is going to separate the two tiger gets a big open up though and that is a big opportunity to hopefully force sire on their last stock situation it is incredibly close i've been talking about onyx's ability to make these comebacks happen if you want any character you want the gauntlets in the cannon they absolutely need to confirm the stock before sire does they are Keith and a Tiger are so hurt. There it is. That is going to confirm that Sire, any any type of combo on either one of their weapons is going to be able to fish out a knockout and they let him get on a weapon. This may have been a very bad mistake for Blue Team. Sire able to send Tiger out. That's his stock. And it all comes down to Sire and Keith 
and Keith is so hurt. He can get some good swings in, be able to uh, equalize his damage just a little bit, but Sire kicking him out, switching back over to Cannon. Keith clapping back with a little bit of damage. But, oh man, this is, this is a nail biter. Ooh, big recovery of the damage, basically evened up here for Keith. The big difference, Keith didn't go off stage to save Tiger this game now, just relying on this 1v1 situation, narrowly avoiding that, and finds time to sidelight to get a little bit more time to safely pick up the weapon. Sire using a lot of jump dashes to avoid the situations. Oh. It's not able to capitalize on that sidelight, gets the right dodge, and neutralize comes through. Sire closes it out in a 1v1 situation on Keith. There could be no denying Sire. Uh, they were able to win that 1v1 versus the what we've been calling the MVP of this bracket so far. Sire closing out the game five. Oh my goodness, so clutch. That was a banger set. I don't care who you're rooting for.